Webster's Dictionary defines recurring as occurring repeatedly, happening or appearing multiple times. If you think YouTube ads is too much, there are one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six ads just to read this definition. Okay, I'm using my headquarters template. It's basically my all-in-one Notion template thing that combines tasks, projects, notes, resources, all that stuff. Very cool. If you want to see the full video walkthrough, there's a link in the description. But we are here to talk about recurring tasks. So to create a recurring task, you'll go to next to the new, you'll click on this button here. Now, basically what you want to do is ensure you have a template in here. So for people using my headquarters notion template, you will have habits, uh, general entry, weekly review and monthly review in here. Um, but I'll create a new template here just for people that are following along and aren't using this. Uh, but again, if you want to see it, it's very cool. Uh, I recommend checking it out. So let's click on new template and let's do take out the bins. So I'll show you two examples in this video, a weekly one like take out the bins and a daily ones uh, like running or something where basically we can then fill out data like minutes and then that automatically gets tallied up so we can start tracking stuff without manually having to enter in the numbers. Okay, let's do take out the bins. Okay, let's add a little icon. Uh, if you have my template, you obviously know about urgency, importance, state of mind. Now for this to work and to show up in this view here, the calendar weekly view and the monthly view, we need to assign a date to it. It needs to know that it has a date assigned to it because tasks without a date do not show up in calendars or uh, weekly view calendars, but they will show up in your list view. So how do we do that without giving it a specific date every time and it does it automatically? We're going to go up here and I'll go back to it, take out the bins, click on edit, and we're going to click on date here. And instead of selecting a date, we're just going to click on today. That will then automatically set up that day's date and click on the three dots here. And you can see here repeat. So we'll click on that. And here you can select how often you want it to occur. So taking out the bins is once a week. So then in here we can change the settings. So let's say it's still on Saturdays and then let's change this to nine 30. And then I will hit save, click away. And you can see here that this little icon here shows up meaning that there is a recurring task. So I'll just wait and it will automatically show up when it hits that date and that time. There we go, cool. So here you can see take out the bins with a little checkbox. That's because it's the headquarters template and it has that. And then I can also see it in the everything list here. Now you can do the same thing for habits. You can do the same thing for journal entries. You can do a ton of different stuff. So if you're using my templates, let's say this habit one, let's say this is cold shower. You can change this to a today's date. And then all of these stuff, you can fill that in. And then all you have to do is if you have cold showers, change this repeat and do the same thing. You can set it as daily or whatever. Here we're going to create a daily one. So let's say running, given an icon. So what I've set up in the headquarters template is a minutes tracker. So let's say every morning you run for 30 minutes. Automatically, you can see here this formula changes it to 0.5 hours, which is really helpful. Um, and then let's just say urgency. It's not urgent. It's probably not important to be honest. Uh, state of mind, it's a personal thing. And then project, let's say you're training for a marathon. I'll click new here. Bucket, this belongs in fitness. So now that I've set up all these properties, I've only had to do that once. And then lastly, change the date to today. Now I only have to do this once because we're going to create it as a recurring task. So I'll click away, click back here, and then on running, we'll click on repeat. So let's say this is every day and let's make it 917. Now this should automatically pop up. Cool, and there you can see it got added. So the cool thing with this running one is, if I just open that up, as you can see, it automatically adds 30 minutes or 0.5 hours. So let's say I've gone for the run, I'll just tick that in. As you can see, it gets ticked in here, gets ticked in here, gets ticked in here, it's all working together. And then if you're using this headquarters template, we'll scroll down and go to time tracker. And then here under fitness, we can see a total of how much we've run. So obviously right now we've only got one entry, but as this adds up over time, we can see how much time we've actually spent on this one bucket. Then we can click on projects. We can see here 30 minutes on marathon. And then here we have the month views. So I'll just click on this and show you how that works. Basically, we're just seeing stuff related to this month. So it's a useful way to see, okay, how much have I actually trained for a marathon just this month? Whereas these two are all time, you know, tracking over time. If you've seen previous videos, you know, I'm not super big on tracking all of this stuff, but if you want to, obviously it's in here, it's built into the headquarters template. So that's how to do recurring tasks in Notion. Super easy to do, and you can change any of your templates here if you're already using the headquarters template. And uh, it's very easy to set up if you're not using it. Basically, you just wanna make sure you have a database and you're creating a template. 
Thanks so much for watching. And if you haven't already, watch my full headquarters walkthrough video if you're interested in learning about this template.